Hey you guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror movie review, and today we're going to be looking at the all-female directed XX, and it also has all females playing the lead roles in these movies, and it's they're short movies, so it's an anthology of short stories. When I first saw the trailer to this, I thought it looked cool, and I remember sharing it on Facebook. Um, I was excited for it. I like these kinds of movies where it's short stories. I mean, they're usually, uh, most of them are usually entertaining, and I really enjoyed watching all the VHS movies. I thought... Um, you know, there was obviously ones that weren't as good, but it was still a fun experience every time I watched one of them. Now, uh, so there's only four stories in this movie, and I would have to say at best I could say they were okay. Um, they're very brief, and all of them felt incomplete. And the first one was called The Box, and it was directed by Jovanka Vukaviki. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say her name. And looking at her career, she uh, doesn't have much in the way of directing. It was mostly just a few short films. So basically the box is about uh, these mother with her kids on the subway and a man sitting next to him has a, a gift wrapped and it's sitting in his lap and the boy peeks at what's inside. And after that he loses his appetite entirely and uh, he just quits eating for days and it ends up spreading throughout the family. Okay, so the box is actually based on a Jack Ketchum story, so, you know, that's cool. And then, so the second one's called The Birthday Party, and it was about a woman who just is planning her daughter's birthday party. And she discovers her husband's dead and sitting in his office, and it's not real clear how he died. It looks like he may have drank and had some pills, but... Anyway, so she continues on planning the party, and that's pretty much the uh, description of this one. I mean, it just goes on, and then by the end of it, you know. <laughs> the birthday party was directed by a woman named St. Vincent. Uh, she, <laughs> she looks like quite the character. But anyway, there was a character in this short uh, story that was never really explained like I couldn't figure out if she was a friend or a maid and after looking at a and she just has really odd behavior and her hair's strange and she's like wearing all black and everything else looks pretty normal so it was really odd and after looking at the director I, I'm pretty sure it was her that was playing this role and, and I mean that's kind of obnoxious it's like an unexplained unnecessary character it's like she just stuck herself in it for no reason okay and then the third one was called Downfall and it's directed by Roxanne Benjamin and she directed this movie called Southbound and I watched that movie and I liked it pretty good I thought it was entertaining but anyway it's about a group of I don't know young adults I guess I, it's not really clear their relationships and I mean like most of the stories it doesn't really give you a chance to develop feelings or uh, in any way of caring about the characters and anyway so they're in the desert you know hiking around and they got their IRV out there and they find some sort of painting on the side of the rock and then anyway so one of the women the the woman that they're teasing with and messing with like you'd mess with your little sister like trying to scare her and stuff she wakes up in the middle of the night by the painting and somehow becomes possessed and I guess gets revenge on everyone. Okay, and then the last story is called Her Only Living Son. 
And this one was directed by Karen Kusama, and she did The Invitation, which I really liked that movie, but I can't say the same for a short story. Um, it was about a mom with an 18-year-old son, and uh, basically it sounds like hit the father, who is now successful in Hollywood, um, made some kind of deal, and the son's going to turn out to be some sort of demon or evil being. And, uh, I mean, there it just doesn't go on long enough to really give you much of a story. So, I guess my biggest issue with this movie is while all four of these short stories were at, at best okay... Um, all of them were very brief. I think the entire movie has a 80 minute runtime, and there's like a, a stop animation that was that was like the transition between the short stories. So between the transitions and like the opening introductions to each short story, I think each one was like 15 minutes. And let me tell you, I kind of felt ripped off for renting this movie for $6.99 because all the stories sent incomplete. The, the production values on them are halfway decent. I mean, there's no, there's not much for gore or scares. So, to me, if you're not going to have one or the other, it's not much of a horror story. You know what I mean? But uh, that's just me. Um, so, they're brief. Every story felt incomplete. And... Uh, they just weren't that spectacular. And when you go out of your way to make an anthology movie that's supposed to be focusing on women in the field of film, um, you know, at least do a halfway decent job about it. Or what are you leaving people to think that, one, these women are not good directors? I, I just... Uh, I think this movie kind of shot itself in the foot or something because uh, it does does not leave you with a good feeling for uh, women in the horror field. But, I mean, that aside, I've seen some of the things these women have done and they are good. So, um, I mean, I can at least say that for them. But I do not suggest this movie. Alright you guys, I'll see you on the next one.